Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we are reading the next part of Envy. Go check out the other parts if you haven't already because in the last one, we kept the cheer squad all together but one of the members is missing and knowing where this story leads, I'm a little nervous so we gotta find out all the tea and what happened with that. I hope you all enjoy. Give it a big thumbs up if you do. Subscribe if you aren't already and let's start the juicy drama. Faye is missing? Um, I'm just gonna do, but she was with us for, well, we know she's missing, what about her phone? We've been trying to call her since yesterday, but her mobile is switched off. We waited and waited for her. Her dinner was getting cold. I drove her to school, but there was nobody here anymore. She never came home last night. Mr. and Mrs. Green, I'm so sorry to hear about this. We'll be for sure to let you know if we have any news of Faye. Come on, dear, we need to get home in case Faye returns. Um, I hope she's okay. We were all in shock at the news. I'm a little in shock. I don't really know Faye. We haven't really, like, built a relationship with her, but she's missing, and that's already grounds for suspicion, especially since our secret was spilled to the school by one of these three little backstabbers over here. So, this is awful. Where could Faye be? Oh my god, you all know what this means. What jazz? <laughs> I'm a little suspect of you. We're still down a member for the team. That's what you care about? And the cheerleading talent scout is coming to check us out next week. I mean, I know that's a big deal, but don't you think you should worry more about where your friend is? We won't even be able to do our routine. Anyway, we can come up with the next routine before next week's game, a new routine, my bad, y'all. There is no way we'll be able to come up with an entire new routine by next week. Yeah, you're right. Besides, it wouldn't be much of a routine anyway with only four people. There's only one solution. Emergency cheerleading tryouts. Yes. Good idea, DJ. We can hold the tryout in the gym tomorrow after school. We can get started right away making the notice for the tryout. The squad has been wanting new cheerleading uniforms for some time. This is the perfect chance to ask Coach for new cheer outfits. Coach, would we be able to get brand new cheerleading outfits as well? It would be the best candidates in school excited about trying out for the squad. Actually, we do have the budget for new cheer outfits. In fact, we even have a budget for a mascot. A mascot? You girls need a mascot? Oh, and here is Jake. I don't mind being your mascot, DJ. Okay, I know this is fine and dandy and everything, and I guess they have to move on because Faye's just missing and who knows what could happen, but maybe it's just me, but I would be a little more concerned for my friend right now. They moved on a little fast, but that's just me. I don't know. I guess you gotta think ahead. Jake is the mascot. I try out to be in the squad for sure. Jake is one of the most popular guys in school. Having him as our mascot will boost our popularity by 150%. OMG, can we have the new ruby red outfits? Ooh, what about the new design in vibrant violet? It will be get the best candidates in school excited about trying out for the team po- They're the latest design. Ooh, okay, so I'm feeling ruby red, so we're going ruby red and a team mascot, whatevs, we're doing it, y'all, we're getting the new cheer outfits, even though I would rather get a search party, but you know what, it's fine, yay DJ, you're the best, I hope you think so, Jazz, because right now, I don't trust you or that girl right next to you, see that little divide right there, we have May on one side, and you flops on the other side, I'm suspicious of you two. Let's wear them right now. Okay, Gabby. Looking good, girls. <gasps> Love the new uniforms. We'll be trying out for sure. See you girls at the next practice. Okay, well, you know, we got like a bunch of points because now we have like the cheer mascot. People want to try out, at least in the long run, maybe for like the talent scout, if we're not thinking about Faye, like this is good for the future, you know. Let's make a sign up sheet for the tryouts. You're holding cheerleading tryouts? Yes. And you are welcome to come try out. I'm definitely coming to try out. Please do. I love the new cheerleading uniform so much. I hope you do. It was funded by moi. And Jake is even going to be the new mascot. Oh my god, I'm so excited. I'll come and try out for sure. Ooh, okay, it's gonna be a success. Hey, Gabby. Oh, hi, Dylan. Mm, what are you doing after school today? Okay, so this is her little crush she has now after she ditched the other one. I was thinking maybe we could... Actually, I'm just going to go home and wash my hair. Um... Okay, girl. Um, okay. Bye. Bye. What is that about? That was weird. What was that about? Okay, so are you over Dylan already? Or I thought you liked him. Let's ask if she's over him already. Are you over Dylan already? What's that laugh? He was too boring. Too boring? Since it's obviously not Dylan. 
Who is she texting? Oh, look, nobody. Okay, so have you seen Faye last seen January 14th leaving Spencer High School wearing a blue jacket and black jeans? Okay, I love how the cheerleading tryout thing is literally right next to poor Faye. Walking home after school, I thought about the ride to school in James' car this morning. Why did he have to act so mysterious all the time? Anyway, what an eventful day, my goodness. Okay, so I knew a little more about him now after our conversation in the car this morning, and we almost got a kiss. But that still didn't explain his earlier strange reaction. He was so mysterious, it was aggravating, or why was I thinking about him again? Okay, let's be real, we're gonna think about him, so why was he so aggravating? We need to know all his tea. It was aggravating the way he blew hot and cold. <gasps> dun, dun, that's James' car. Wait, where is he going? James didn't turn right at the junction in front like he should have, which was the direction to our houses. Instead, he turned left. But that road only leads to the cemetery. Why is he going to use the cemetery? Ooh, I'm a little nervous about him now. I couldn't resist. Only one way to find out where he was going. I have to follow that car. Hey DJ, are you alright? What are you doing just standing here? No time to waste. James just drove past and I need to find out why he's heading towards the cemetery. Gotta run. Whoa, wait, you want to run after his car? Uh, why are you laughing at us, Jess? Girl, why don't I give you a lift in my car? This way you won't run the risk of losing his car. We can follow him at a discreet distance so he'll never know without breaking a sweat. Oh, did you know what? I even have a really cute dress in the car that you can change into. Try it on. Wow, you look gorgeous. He won't be able to keep his eyes off you if you wear that. But the whole point is to not get caught. Or maybe that is the point. <gasps> Ooh, okay, so... Okay, you know what? Let's just do it. I don't want to risk losing him. I can always count on you, Jazz. Yes, you know it. Quick, get in the car. And plus, we gotta look cute if he finds us. Like, ooh, I'm, well... Okay, so this is not what I thought. This is not secretive. This is he clearly lost somebody. And I'm a little nervous about us being here. Thanks so much for the lift, Jazz. I would have totally lost sight of his car if you hadn't helped me. Girl, this is important, you know. Plus, now when you see him, you won't be a sweaty mess from running. Now go and wow him with how cute you look. Yes, ma'am. Okay, Jazz. I don't still know about you, girl. But where is James? He's left his car here. James must have gone into the cemetery. Okay, I hope she has a really good story of why she's randomly in the cemetery following him. Ooh, okay. Cemeteries are, I mean, they're obviously a place for to rest, but they're a little... Oh, he looks so sad. Oh no. What am I doing? Why am I spying on him? I was gonna say, girl, like, this is a little bit much, like, that we're at the cemetery with him. Please don't catch us, but you know we're gonna get caught. Oh, no, you know she's gonna go look at the grave and gonna get caught, girl. <sighs> oh, I'm nervous, like, I'm cringing, like. Okay, Joy Mayfair. Okay, so that must have been if they were born February 24th. To okay, his sister. Who's Joy Mayfair? Hmm, she passed away last year. She was only 16 when she died. <gasps> I see. Are you following me? No. Okay, so that was the end of the chapter. Now, let's just go over a few things here. Faye is missing. We still have no idea what happened to her. And then it zoomed in in the school on her little missing picture. It stayed there for quite a while. And I am really nervous of where she is. And I feel like they need to be a little bit more nervous. But I mean, okay, I guess if I'm sitting and thinking of like my high school self, it's like, what... Are you really going to do? And okay, well, at first I was a little miffed that Jazz was all like, what about the cheer tryouts? It's like, they have to worry about the real life too, I guess. Like, the immediate life. I just, mmm. I just thought they would be more into like, I don't know. Maybe that's just me. I just cared about little Faye, even though I have no relation to her. or don't even really know her in the story, but whatevs. Then Gabby was all about Dylan and then randomly just dropped him, which that was really sketchy. Jazz... I go back and forth on Jazz's sketchiness. Like, if I'm still going to say who I think it is, I still think it's Gabby, just because something is not right about her. Jazz, mm, I'm feeling suspicious of her, but I just don't know. In May, I really don't think it's May. She just, I don't know. Maybe that's going to be the big plot twist, and it is May. But I want to find out what happened to Faye. And then second of all, we follow James, and I want to think that's most likely his sister. I can't imagine this is... It can't be his daughter, like, that just isn't gonna work. So it has to be his sister, and she passed away. So it's also completely awkward. We were caught in the cemetery following him. He knows, which is awkward. 
So, oh, we're gonna have a lot to go over in the next chapter. I really, really hope you all enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching as always, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, everyone. Yeah, she's fervent with a smile They came from hell to see you So you